Go over here, turn on one set, and go turn the other set on. Now we have the full set. Hello there, and today we're going to uh, work on objects that interact. But instead of just interacting with the immediate object that we're, you're looking at, we're going to look at creating switches. So you would create a flip a switch and you might turn on the light or might activate other items that you have um, code for. So let's get started. Um, so first thing I did was create a, a sprite to actually use as my my trigger. This is, It's a lever um, that's going to be, be able to be moved. So that'll be the first thing we, we create. Then we're going to go back to our object, our inner object object and we're actually going to create uh go into the create event um okay we're going to initialize our variables and we're going to add an id to this yeah we'll just call it an id for this item because we're going to use that to uh, be able to find what we're we'll be able to connect different things together and we'll we'll use the id to connect like a item ID or I guess interact ID so we're going to create our uh, switch object assign it the lever we'll do our usual this is going to be an object that can be highlighted So like our torch, we're probably going to have to create some initial variables. It's false. So I'm going to create, we'll call our parent uh, highlight create object. If there's anything we need to be concerned here. So on our draw event, we'll go ahead and copy what we have in the other and draw itself and our and draw the shadow as well so this will draw it if it gets highlighted that means when we're right next to it so we're going to create a an action ID or yeah an action ID this is going to be the object that we activate so on our switch object we're going to create an event where if we collide with our interact object so that's the what the player gets highlighted is looking for we're going to take the item the other item let's see so we're going to take the uh, item id from the thing we're, we're working on and assign that our action id then we're going to say, all right, so our action, if, uh, if our other, if we're intersected and our other action is true, we'll set our action to equal to true. And in our step event, so this is what we're doing. So for our action, because we're in a, <clears throat> the player is touching the object and they press an action, we're going to say this would be, will be the action that we, we perform. And then we're going to pass this action on to our 
other object. So we're going to um, get the instant count, the number of uh, items we're looking for. All right, number. So we're going to find out how many different interactive objects we have. They're going to be a highlight. I guess it's not necessarily going to be highlighted. Um, or switch can be highlighted. Yeah, we'll do that. Or wait. We're going to create another object just for the parent. I'm going to call it an action item. We are going to create a new porch. And the parent's going to be the action. A remote torch. How about that? We're going to call this an action item. We're only going to do that for if we have an action we're going to try to perform. So we're going to get the number of items. So we are going to find the action object. So we're, this is, we're cycling through every actionable item and we're going to check to see if this is related to the one we want. So make sure we're not going to do that. We're going to set it to this, our object. If our object matches our item, let's see, our switch. All right, our switch has an ID. And our other object has has an item ID. going to initialize our item to not have an action. Go back to our remote torch. It's an action. What we're going to do in our normal steps, we're going to say if action, then and our sprite index is not equal to a lit torch, then we will light it. In our create event, we are going to initialize and image speed equals like 25, I don't know. So let's try this. Go to our room, where the guy is. We are going to create our add a switch. Then we are going to add a remote torch. So let's just add two of them. And in our creation code, we're going to say our Item ID, this one is two, or doesn't really matter. We should go over here. Our item ID is equal to one. Our switch over here is going to be to one. So let's make sure if we come here, our switch. Our action, we're going to flip that. We're going to make sure our 
image speed equals zero. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to limit. So once we flip the switch, we're not going to let them do it anymore. But you can do different things with, you'll have to add code to different things for that. All right, so action, we're in our sub and flipped. I'm going to set it to the opposite. So let's try that. All right. All right, our switch, object highlight, action equals false. All right. Our step event with our interact object. Line one action ID. All right, our switch has a variable. What is it called? Action ID. Oh, actually, I don't need this at all because we're setting it with the instance. There you go. <clears throat> so let's try that again and show you what happened. So I've got my switch over here that we highlight. We give it an action. We start the torch remotely. So now what we could do if you really wanted to add a lot of this to the room. All right, I pasted it somewhere. Let's see. Where did it go? All right, we won't do that. So here is where you just assign it to the different items. Now you can go back and, uh, all right, so didn't do that one, did not assign it correctly. Oh, item ID is one. Version code. There we go. So yeah, now you can go in and flip a switch. Oh, <laughs> and I still missed one. So which one did I miss? This one? Item ID equals one. All right, so I just turned on two torches. Oh, here we go. So this is not an actual remote torch, it's just a regular torch. So let's delete that. We had another one in there. Want to edit the object, edit the instance. And so there we go. So we'll go in here. I added the, I noticed the, uh, there was no shadow on the other ones, but there was one shadow on the other, on the last one. So go over here, flip a switch. Now we have three. Um, here I'll show you what we can do easily. So we can go get another switch. 
This one, creation code is action item equals one. Now, two. Now you can actually get quite a few of these going to do two different things, tie them to two different switches. Go over here, turn on one set, and go turn the other set on. Now we have the full set. We didn't add any code to turn these back off, but you could add that as an action, you know, if it add additional logic, but that's what we're going to do for right now. So there you go. Um, how to create remote objects for switches and tying, tying items together. All right, until next time, good luck coding.